Hello. You know, the thought of being a completely different person, which is what the research indicates, that we're completely different people once we come through to the other side of the narcissistic abuse. Well, the first few times I heard that, it, it made me really sad to think about. I liked myself. I still do, but I liked myself. I was like, what do you mean? I'm just... Now I'm empowered. And let me explain to you what I take that all to mean or what it means to me. Who you were pre-narcissistic abuse is never going to be the person you're going to be again. That is true. You are changed forever. But you have to remember, you went through a trench. And by trench, I mean trench. How could you be the same? How could you not be careful? Is that a bad thing? How could you not make someone say things twice or thrice or make someone wait until you believe in them? Wait someone. My daughter, when she was very, very young, said to me once, Mommy, you're so trusting. So is it a bad thing if you come out the other side and you're a little you know, tougher and you don't necessarily listen to every single thing that everyone says and you don't believe every single thing somebody says to you, the key is not to go too far over, right? I don't want to lose my, you know, wide-eyed romantic lens through which I see life and think that Cinderella could happen and think that people can fall in love even at first sight and last and be, I'm not going to lose that. I refuse. But I will approach it more carefully. And if someone has a big, you know, word on their shirt that says, I'm a narcissist, I'm certainly going to read it and listen and heed that warning. And I say that because the red flags are that obvious. Once you educate yourself and learn about them, they're that obvious. So is that a bad thing? Heck no, that's a fabulous thing. That I came through it and now I'm aware and I'm educated and I can listen and learn and watch. And I also want to mention that when you come on the other side of it, I've remastered everything in myself. I've remastered my inside me, my heart, my mind, my soul. I've remastered it. And he can't get in here. This is just for me. This is mine. I used to say that before, I've said this for years, my daughter's in her 20s now. Before I was a parent, if, if life was a sentence, I used to think of this. Before I was a parent was this part of my sentence. Then there was a semicolon, that's when I had the baby. And then after that, my life since, the rest of the sentence has been after that semicolon. That's kind of how I view parenting and non-parenting. It's a completely different Changes you forever. You never look at anything the same way again. It's the same thing with the uh, narcissistic abuse. Everything that I had in my life before it, semicolon was the relationship, and now everything is going to be different and better, just like parenting. Because now you know better. If we know better, then we do better. In order to take the huge step forward, of leaving the narcissistic abuse behind you and not let it bang around in your head and cause residual damage when you're not even with the narcissist. It can do that if it all is bouncing around. You have to move forward away from them, be a different person, embrace that you're a different person, recognize the strengths that this experience has given you. And not only step forward, we have to turn a corner. We have to go around the corner. We don't just want to go forward. We don't even want to be on the same street as the narcissist anymore. Pull a U-turn. Go back. Come back up. Do whatever you need to do. Don't be anywhere near where they were with you and in, in, where you were with them in your life. And part of that is accepting that you're a different person. You're a glorious, remarkable human being who somebody 
downed you for a little while and your little while might be under a year your little while might be six months your little while might be 30 years and five children with the person it's still not too late to turn a corner and be a different person and value yourself and accept what you are and don't be sad about being a different person be exhilarated and accept that that means that you can now encounter people on a more awakened level awakened we're awake now right i think the kids say we're woke isn't that an expression now they're woke but i mean it in the real sense you're awake now you know what i mean so when you encounter people don't repeat the same patterns if somebody comes on strong to you and on date number two they're asking you for your your ring finger size then you look at them and say oh my god i've encountered you before thanks i'm good leave during the salad you know what i don't even want to finish this meal i want to go i don't think it's going to work out oh yeah i don't think it's going to work out get to that point that you know yourself so well and you love who you've become. You absolutely, those battle wounds and scars are traumatic. But turn them into something good. Turn them into education and empowerment for others. Share your message. Share this message. And, and you can go forward and be the best version of yourself.